Hi, my name is Brian Norton with the InData project at Easter Seals Crossroads. And today we're going to be digging into app tracking, one of the newest features of iOS 14.5. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so today we're going to be talking about app tracking um, on our iPhone. We've upgraded to the latest version of iOS, that's 14.5. Uh, and one of the more controversial features of the upgrade was app tracking. Um, and this allows you to, um, as you install apps, um, apps are supposed to allow you to opt in to their tracking and not necessarily have to go in behind the scenes and, and choose that later on. And so in the past, you would basically download the apps, those things would be turned on, and then you had to go back into your settings to be able to adjust those to whatever your preference was. Now you can, when you install that app, is my understanding is you can opt in to allowing them to have access to your data. Um, and that's been pretty controversial for a lot of different um, app manufacturers or the folks who design apps um, because they need your information and that's part of the way they make money. Um, and so just wanted to kind of show you where that feature is. It's tucked in under, under settings and so we'll go ahead and open up settings. Um, and if you come under settings, you can go to privacy. Um, and it's going to look very similar to maybe what it looked like before, but you've got this place called Location Services. This has always been there. Um, you can go down and see all the different apps that you have installed, um, and you can tell it when it can access your location. Um, but over here, just a little bit more information is that tracking piece. It basically, when you allow apps to ask to track your activity, you're giving that company um, basically access to whatever activity you do on your phone, the places you go, the things that you're looking at, those types of things. That's how you get those customized um, different uh, uh, advertisements that come across because it's keeping track of where you go on the web and then keeping and then bringing those things up into your feed as you go other places. And so essentially there's a toggle button here and you can say um, allow apps to request or to track. Um, you can turn that on or turn that off. Um, and that's where that particular feature is nested. Um, again, it's a controversial one, but I think it's an important step in privacy um, to be able to turn that on and keeping, keeping you know, apps. And if you're interested in being more private and making sure your information's private, where you're going and what you're doing isn't being tracked and used, um, you can do that. And so you can turn that on or off. So that's app tracking. And that's your tech tip for this week. My name is Brian Norton with the InData Project at Easter Seals Crossroads in Indiana.